Hello guys and welcome back again to another Everything Multiverse 6 episode. My name is Vakan, I am your host. And today I want to talk about E-Trees, a very interesting NFT project from Multiverse X that has been live uh, for more than one year. So I first heard about it when Multiverse 6 was called that round. And um, it was my mistake to not research it back then, but now I want to cover it a bit and to tell you more about this project because I find it kind of a, kind of a, a blue chip feeling to it. Um, the project is very well developed, is doxed, all the founders can be found on their um, LinkedIn accounts. and. Um, Lately, they announced a new phase of their project, uh, which includes the mint of these cute little guys here, the gardeners, but we'll talk about them a bit later. So for the beginning, let me tell you a bit some things about this project, some general things. And for this, we'll uh, make a bit of research based on my latest thread that I posted on Twitter some days ago. So let's go. And by the way, if you already know things about uh, this project and you are already well informed, you can uh, skip directly to the part of the video, of the video where uh, I play their game and where I talk about the Gardener's Mint. So as I said, e is not a new project. It has been around for uh, about one year. Uh, their core team is French. And they are set to make an ecological impact by combining NFTs with gamification. And it is safe to assume that they already made an impact because they donated um, almost 50k dollars to, um, to an NGO called One Tree Planted. And um, they participated in the plantation of more than 50,000 trees in Africa, so a remarkable goal and they want to do and accomplish even more than this. So at the beginning they launched a few collections, as you can see below, they launched some uh, land plots, uh, like the one you see here, the river plot, the beach plot and there are several more, like the mountain, savanna the beach as I said before and for each of these land plots they created different different uh, types of trees with um, different rarities so recently they developed their own game where they blended um, this ecological part with gamification and uh, we talk about this immediately this game is called uh, Farm Trees and uh, it is very simple, very neat and uh, a, a pleasure to use, basically. So what can you do in this game up to the current moment? Well, you can buy and own uh, land plots. You can plant various trees on uh, your own land plots. Um, each of these trees uh, produce oxygen, called oxy in the game, and you can harvest it. Uh, with the oxygen you harvest, you can buy various items, you can uh, make various upgrades, you can do tasks, you can earn skill points and uh, upgrade your skills. And uh, the most interesting feature that is not longer live was that you can upgrade your trees to much rarer uh, forms. So it was a, a very cool task, as you can see here, to farm for the unique tree of um, each land plot. Okay, so now the guys from E-Trees decided that they need another ingredient to succeed with their project. And uh, this is represented by the gardeners. So they are these cute avatars that will represent your um, your impersonation in the game. And um, 
let's go straight to the game and see how it behaves. So now I will launch it and we'll play a bit with it. I will connect with my export app and I have my phone near me to do this. Okay. I have just connected and let's see what I got here. So welcome to my land plot. Uh, this is the main uh, page of the game where you can see your land plot, you can see your trees, uh, your trees that uh, are producing the oxygen. Uh, it is not a token, a real token, but an in-game currency, as you can uh, call it. And every day you have to wake up your trees, as you can see here, in order to be able to make them produce oxygen and harvest that oxygen. So let's hit wake up your trees. I will sign the transaction in my app. And while it is loading, you can see these funny uh, inputs from the game. <laughs> Three related inputs right here. Okay. Okay, so we are done. By the way, if you want to buy uh, land plots or trees, you can uh, go to Frame It Marketplace and you can choose from a various list of land plots and trees from there. So I just bought my own some days ago and uh, I'm pretty happy with them because they are cheap and uh, I just wanted to taste the game. As you can see, the trees are already producing oxygen. And um, just to give you an example, we can see the different sub-menus of the game. This is the overview menu where you can see your gardener. You don't have one at the current moment, but you will have um, your in-game gardener starting with tomorrow, so with uh, the 5th of April. You can see the skills menu, the quests menu, where you can claim different experience points based on the <coughs> quests that you accomplish. So I can already claim this collect oxy uh, quest and um, another quest here because I collected a total amount of 10,000 oxy. I will come to this later. In this menu you can see the trees that you own. So let's plant a tree together. Let's plant this uh, basic bobab tree that gives you 120 oxygen per hour. Okay. I will sign the transaction right now. And I will come back in just a minute. Okay, so it's already done. Now I have three, three trees that are producing oxygen. And with uh, this oxy oxygen, you can uh, buy different items from the store. So let's go to the store to the tool shop, as it is called. And uh, for example, we can buy a shovel, a pickaxe, an oxy tank, each of them having different utilities. For example, with the pickaxe, we can change the plot once. With the shovel, you can plant and um, you can basically unplant your trees. So let's buy a shovel for uh, 1000 oxy. Okay, the transaction has been signed in the, my export app. And let's see the shovel. Just some seconds left. 
and until it is done let's see uh, some other stuff uh, that is present in the game you can see all the rare trees that exist in the game in this uh, menu in the tree stocks menu unfortunately unfortunately uh, these trees have um, already been minted and discovered by the players so you can only buy them from the secondary markets for uh, a higher price if you want so these are really really rare trees epic ones okay so my trees are now producing oxygen Uh, let's hit that uh, boost oxy item uh, I bought this stuff from the frame it marketplace and it will help me give a little boost to my trees to produce oxygen faster I will validate the transaction using my exporter app And they'll come back, of course, in one second. All right, so job's done. Okay. So now let's talk about the gardeners mint that we'll have tomorrow on the 5th of April. So these little guys represent your in-game avatar. Um, and let's not forget that all the actions that you do in the in the game will have an ecological impact and will help uh, eat trees plant even more trees so every time you do transactions in the game uh, this stuff will help the project so the gardeners coming back to them they will have a supply of 5000 um, they will be live beginning with, to, beginning with tomorrow and let's see more examples of them right on uh, the E3's Twitter page so we can see three of them here they even made the gardeners gallery which is already live and you can see all the gardeners, all the unique ones, for example uh, these alien gardeners there are some uh, gardeners with golden features so very cool stuff and I feel that uh, by adding these avatars to their game they have the potential to reach for more people even on uh, other blockchains rather different than multiverse X and they will help them increase in adoption okay so basically 5000 gardeners let's see now the main utilities of these guys so they will help you boost your oxy production they will decrease the greenhouse timers in the game and they will increase the 12 hours inactivity period in the game so we'll, you, you will no longer be obliged to come maybe every day to wake up your trees the mint will happen tomorrow the price is uh, 0 0.8 e gold for the whitelisted people and for the public sale 1 e gold so pretty decent for these times as eagle is at a very low point at the moment the supply is uh, pretty conservative not too big so it's 5000 so please pay attention to this stuff you will, you will uh, mint as they are called the gardener chests which contain 100% one gardener and two basic jungle trees and you can also receive optional items 
So let's go back to their uh, Twitter page. So this is how the chest looks like. And these are the optional items that you can win. So things like Oxyrune, Jungle Plot, Golden Mask. And these are the things that you will receive uh, guaranteed. So the Gardener and um, two basic jungle trees. The guys from Eatrees have made a full guide in which they explain how they will use the money that uh, will come from the Gardener's Mint. So it is a pretty uh, easy read. It takes about five minutes to read this one. It is basically a medium article that I also opened and read here. Uh, I will post the link down below in the description. And uh, I recommend you to read it because it is very transparent and uh, very well done. So I really love their uh, open approach with their project. So to sum up, um, I think that the plans of the E3 team for uh, 2023 is to expand their project, maybe even multi-chain. They will focus um, on mass adoption and uh, on onboarding new players. And they will even have an Android and uh, iOS app, which is very exciting. And um, these cute guys, these gardeners, I feel that uh, they will help, will help them achieve all their plans. So thank you for watching uh, this video up to this point. And uh, don't hesitate to uh, follow these guys. Don't forget that this video is not a financial uh, advice. So do your own research before investing uh, in the gardener's mint or maybe in their previous collections, like the trees or the land plots. And um, feel free to also follow me. And uh, I will also attach to this video uh, another giveaway of three whitelist spots uh, to their mint from tomorrow. So stay close. Like and retweet, and retweet the video once it is posted. And uh, thank you all for being here. Goodbye and thank you.